to you. Matt, thank you. And as the hurricane does continue to batter the southeast, Red Cross volunteers are all ready and to help. KGW's Devin Haskins joins us now live. And Devin, you spoke with a volunteer from Oregon who's stationed on Florida's Panhandle. Yeah, that's right. His name is Russell Wolfram. He's just got there yesterday. He's from Portland. He's only been a volunteer for the Red Cross since 2016. And get this, this will already be his third hurricane that he's helped the Red Cross with. So far, the Red Cross has sent 10 volunteers from the Portland area over to Florida, Georgia, and Alabama. More are on their way to help with relief efforts. Wolfram says he'll be there for the next two weeks or until he's replaced. His job is to help with disaster health services. The strong winds and heavy rain started to pick up this afternoon as Michael made landfall. Being in danger's way, though, has not crossed Wolfram's mind. The Red Cross has been doing this for a very long time. They have good safety policies in place. They're very skilled in where they place their volunteers before an event like this comes in. And so that we're in close enough proximity that we're able to go in immediately following the event and provide that basic level of care, and, uh, but not be in danger. Red Cross says they still need volunteers to help out with Hurricane Michael and then other future disasters. If you feel like you want to help out, they want you to, uh, to volunteer. There is a volunteer training session this Friday at their Red Cross office.